Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lucy Cucina. I'm going to do another video on potato noche because I had some questions and I hurried through it last time. I'm not used to taping on my own, so bear with me. Um, I'm going to start over again and hopefully be a little bit more informative this time for those of you making it for the first time. And excuse my raw footage here. I'm trying to tape by myself as I'm locked down. Uh, during this pandemic. All right, here we go. Let me just show you what I have. I have two eggs. I'm just going to beat them up a little. All righty, and I'll set them aside. I have a couple of pounds of red potatoes because that's all I had. I have two cups of flour, and in the flour, I'm going to put a, uh, let's see what this is. This is a teaspoon, no, teaspoon, uh, tablespoon teaspoon I'm not sure but this much <laughs> you need a decent amount of salt in here okay um, the, it rubbed off a little on here so I can't see it so well I'm going to put a little bit of fresh black pepper now you don't have to put this if you don't want to I just like to put a little bit just to get it started in case I forget later okay and I have some extra flour over there. So this is just two cups of flour. Last time I did it, I used one and I ended up needing two, probably because I overcooked my potatoes, which I may have done again, and also because of the rain outside. So what I have to do first is, I'm just going to grate up my potatoes right here on the board, put a little flour on there, and easy, easy, just like this, you're gonna do it right on the board. So this is a lot of potatoes. You can use any kind of potatoes that you like. I'm using red ones because I know red ones have the least amount of carbs. Not that it much matters though for amount that you'll probably eat and all the flour we're putting in there. But that's what I eat at home, so that's what I'm using. And just a couple more. And then I'll mash the rest up with a fork because I don't want to cut myself. You can see I have a Band-Aid on. I'm very good at cutting myself. There we go. And these are just, you know, already cooked. All I did was boil them and um, peel them up. That's it. Boiled and peeled. Let me move over so I have a little more room. Again, sorry for the raw footage. I'm trying so hard to do a couple of videos on my own here without my regular camera crew. Dave, my producer, Anthony, my cameraman, and all the other people that helped me with my, um, my show that um, is on cable TV, Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting, that won a few awards for video excellence. So I have it in me to make videos, but not by myself. <laughs> All right, so this I'm just gonna break up with my fingers a little because we can't have big chunks or when we go to roll it out, it's not going to um, roll out well big chunks. So you could just do this, mash it up. You can get a fork, mash it, whatever you want. Whatever is easier. All right, so you can see just squishing it around. And here is the potatoes. So you can see it's quite a bit of potatoes. This is gonna make a, a couple pounds or more of pasta. Um, I just dropped some off the other day from my son, told him take use a couple handfuls, just take a couple handfuls out. And well, he decided to cook it all. So they'll be eating it for the next couple days. Him and his wife will be eating a lot of the nochi there. All right, here we go. So, just going to put the eggs in, just mix them up a little bit better. I'm just going to pour them in the middle. Oop, let's try not to have it go off to the side there. All right. And I forgot one other utensil, which I actually forgot in my last video. And this is the copper, <laughs> the chopper scraper, which of course I still didn't take that sticker off. All right. So, now flour. Putting a little flour in there to start with because I don't want it leaking all over if I can help it. Let me get some on my hands. And all I'm doing is going to start to mix. Now, all the eggs are already in there. The flour, I'm going to add little at a time, of course. We don't want to overdo it. This is a soft dough. This is not like a pizza dough or a um, macaroni dough, pasta dough. It is a softer dough. And these nochi come out fabulous. I actually spread them out on a um, tray, put them in the freezer after about an hour, an hour and a half, 
They were frozen. I put them in a plastic bag. When I brought them over to my son, I brought them in a plastic bag. So I'm just going to clean off my hands a little bit. You can do that just by putting some flour on your hands as well. That usually helps. Okay. And hopefully I won't lose my Band-Aid. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to scoop up a little bit, chop up a little bit more. Make sure, sorry, my cutting board moving around. I didn't want to do this on my quartz countertop because my quartz countertop is white and I don't think you would see it as well, but I do need a bigger cutting board for this. You need a lot of room for this. So I'm just cutting this up, making sure there's no big chumps. Chumps, oh my goodness, I'm not talking well today. Big chunks. All right, and I think that might be okay. I'm just gonna move this aside and it is very, very damp. So I can tell already I need more flour and after you make it a couple times it'll get much easier for you There we go. I have a big spoon. I have some reserve flour. Oh, actually I'm using reserve flour instead of what's in my cup All right, so I probably already did use the two cups. All right, there we go So I did already use the two cups of flour Now I'm just gonna squeeze it. Let me move this out of the way and make sure that you can see good i think so all right now just squeezing squeezing i'll take my um scraper again move it in move it in now you don't have to worry if you end up adding too much flour no big deal i'm moving all over the place here let me move it back all you have to do is add a couple of spoons of water I mean, the potatoes have a lot of water, but I don't think I'm going to need any, okay? So this is great, like I said in my other video, it's for kids, because that you give everybody a nice pile, and they get to make the ropes out of it and cut it up and everything. All right, here we go. Again, I'll use my scraper, squeeze it back in the middle, turn it over. So I'm just trying to, right now, I'm just trying to keep it in one spot so you can see. At home, do it, you know, where you have more room. All right, here we go. So I want to fold this over and just knead it a little bit. Like I said, it's not like a pasta dough where you have to knead it that much. I just want to make sure it's all together, okay? Last time I didn't wash my hands, I didn't want to use that much time, but this time I will, because now I understand a little bit better about getting it on the internet. So I'm not worried if this one comes out a little longer, but I was better prepared for this one. I hope this helps, and I hope that you try this, because especially now in the winter and everybody's staying home more because of the pandemic, this is so great because you could put it in soup and you can put any kind of sauce on it you want. I mean, you can put butter and throw some shrimp in there, um, some chicken, whatever you like. It just really is very good. Um, regular red sauce is fine. All right, so let me see. I think it's still a little bit too sticky. Just a little bit. All right, fold this over again. See if I can need it just a little bit. So I'm just kind of squeezing, not as hard as I was before. And I'm turning it, squeezing it again. Sorry, moving around. There we go. And I'll test it and see if that's okay. But you can see this is not taking me a long time. I mean, literally, it takes just a few minutes to make it. It takes longer to roll it. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm just going to roll it off a fork. I have one of those gadgets that you can... That you can roll it on of course I forgot to put that out <laughs> but I'm gonna try that okay so I'm gonna get some of this off my hands and I'm just gonna go over to my sink bear with me I don't want to turn off the video because then I fear I won't be able to get back to it so just bear with me while I'm getting some of this off my hands um, I'm using all-purpose flour by the way I hope you can hear me all-purpose flour is it's just fine to use. All right, I got most of it off now. So I just want to dry my hands. And my Band-Aid's still managing to stay on. All right, I'm coming back. Here I am. <laughs> now, let's see if it was enough flour, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just taking a piece off, all right? 
And I'm going to put some more flour on my board here. And all I'm going to do is gently roll it. And my hands are still a little bit damp there, but it's okay. And I'm rolling it. Now, I usually make them about an inch long. You can make them smaller. If you want to put them in soup, I would make them smaller. If you're just going to be using them as a regular pasta, then you can make them a little bigger, okay? So hopefully you can see the size of this, all right? This one is doing really, really well. Like I said, I wanted to do something a little better than my last one. Okay, let me just get out a knife. There we go. Now, you can put a ruler. Last time I showed you that you could put a ruler here. Um, if you have one of these cutters, it actually does have the um, ruler there on it, okay? I'm trying to wipe off some of that dough. So if you did want to make it exactly one inch, there you go, you can do it like this. After you do a few, you're gonna see what size, all right? So that's about one inch each. And that, that's fine. Like I said, it doesn't matter. So now I'm just going to cut. There we go. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, so here we have it. Now, you can use these just like this if you wanted to. Okay, I'm going to get a dry fork out. Well, of course, it's a dry fork. I almost was going to use the one in the egg. That's what made me think of saying dry fork, okay? <laughs> all right, so all you have to do is, let me get that off my finger. Let me make sure that I'm in the film. Here I am, all right? Let me move that over so you can see. All you have to do is push like this. That's all you have to do. You're making these little dumplings. Little potato noche. I'm gently pushing and then turning. There we go, pushing, turning. Then what I'll do is after I have a bunch, I will put them on my floured parchment paper. You don't need to use parchment paper, just makes it easier. All right, let me do a few more. There we go. So you give each one of your children a, um, a fork. It could be a plastic fork if you don't want them using a regular fork. And with their finger, they just are going to roll it. And there we go, roll it. This is a really fun project. Like I said, you can have everybody help. You can have a dinner party and, and have everybody sit around a, a table if you have an island in your kitchen and just give everybody a pile and have everybody help with it, okay? Now, when you cook these, you're gonna cook these in salted boiling water, just like regular pasta. They need quite a bit of salt. I mean, it's a lot of flour, a lot of, a lot of potato, okay? And um, they'll be done in a few minutes, all right? Even after you freeze them, like I said, when you freeze them, all you have to do is lay them out on um, something flat, okay? Uh, freeze them for an hour or two, and then put them in plastic bags. And that's it. If you want to weigh it out so you can figure out how much your family needs, you know, to eat. Uh, don't do like my son and make a few pounds of it and then eat it for the next three days. I'm sure he doesn't mind, but still, um, that's really the best way to do it. Freezes very, very well. You can keep it for a few weeks and then you, uh, you're all set. I mean, there we go. See, you can see the potato and everything in it and it's so delicious. I mean, they almost taste like little pierogies. I mean, just so delicious. So here we go. Just gonna roll out a little bit more so you can see. I'm not pushing real hard again, um, like uh, pasta, okay? So unfortunately, I don't know how to put the recipe on there, so you're gonna have to write it down old school. <laughs> just really, it's just a couple of cups of flour, um, two to three pounds of potatoes, some salt and pepper, um, two eggs, and that's all you need. I mean, everybody has everything that you need or ready to make this in the house. So you have an extra half an hour to do it. I mean, it's not real time consuming. So see, this is much better than my last video. Um, I wanted to take my time more and I hope that answered everybody's questions. I tried to be a little bit more informative um, how I explained it. And I think you can see, here we go. All right, so thanks for um, checking out my video and uh, I'll be making more soon. I have a whole bunch of ideas 
of what I would like to show you, uh, especially uh, during this winter and pandemic time that so many of us are staying home. Everybody be safe. Please get vaccinated and help the spread.